I always forget to do something. I hit the update information again, just in case. There we go. Um, anyway, OBS is on, microphone levels look fine, desktop levels look fine. Still haven't finished logging into Play Online, so that's not fine. We got a title, box art looks fine. Lights are on. Fraps, thank you. That's why we have checklist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Twitch. So, hello, everyone. I'm running late. I'm Dent. That's going to be Cyndaquil here in just a little bit. Still playing Final Fantasy XI. What day is it? That's a good question. It's Thursday, um, October 5th, 2017. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, cat? Kitty says hi. I'm sure they're going to say hi right back to you, Miss Kitty. Oh, look at that. I'm still in Dragoon stuff from yesterday. Oh, no. She was quiet till like, shoot, until I hit the stream button. Then she's all like, oh, yeah, that's going on tonight, isn't it? A couple of y'all got really annoyed with me last night when she came running over. And then just as she came up, I was like, screw you. I turn around just like that, and, you know. <laughs> Oh, whoosh! What is it? What day is it? It's Wednesday? No, thank God it's not Wednesday. Thursday. Happy Thursday, whoosh! Happy Thursday, Lenos. Hawaiian. I'm not wearing my Hawaiian shirt, am I? I don't think I fit in anymore, which is kind of sad. Well, that and it's missing a button, a very important button. It's that button that. Um, otherwise, someone could, uh, if they're standing to my left or to my right, and they look over, and it's like, we're going to see a nipple. And the world is not ready for that. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> you hush! She only responds when you, uh, use the same type of language, which is just basically, <laughs> Ain't that right, D? Yeah. This is funny. I mean, I took her voice whenever uh, we were playing World of Warcraft, and uh, I was on my uh, Undead Priest, happened to be female, and because it was a roleplay server, I would roleplay as a female Undead Priest. A very old one. And they weren't really sure. It's like, her name was Intero. It's like, is she. Is the player a boy or a girl? I was like, if you think it's a boy. I'm like, nah, it's definitely a girl. And you're like, I can't tell by the voice. What's wrong with your mic? Of course, any time that I was like on Dentral, they never questioned. It's like, is he a boy or a girl? Anytime I was on Song Garthal, they never asked. Is Song really a girl? No. If you're on a female character, they just automatically assume that, you know, it's really a chick. And, you know... They're automatically going to like you because, you know, chicks like guys. Internet logic, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, since it was a roleplay server, I had somebody send me a private tell one time. It's like, you know, they peek their head underneath my skirt. And I was like, don't poke your eye out. I, like, oh! I never saw him again after that. Uh, it was it was a shame because he was a pretty dependable tank, too. Oh, well. Um, what am I? Oh, yeah, we're fishing tonight. Traveling to another home point. Let us go to. We can do this on Dragon. It really doesn't matter what job you do this on. I don't even know if Miss Cyndaquil has any fishing gear. She's got a filled tunica, which isn't the same thing. Um, maybe storage number four? No. No, that's not fishing gear. And. Check number three. Just be sure. It's okay, we can probably make it. So, leather working, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Start with the body. I don't remember the mats. Probably not vampire. Actually, no, let's go to the auction house. It may be on the auction house. And if it is, then it'll be a lot faster. And if not, then we'll just craft it. Traveling to another home point. Let's go, Sandoria. Let's do port, because there's like an auction house crystal right next to the thingy and like yeah did you need something crafted possibly but since syndical like has all the subcrafts that a culinarian will never need i think she even has like a woodworking at 70 
Um, she could probably make it herself. Well, let's find out. Boom, boom, boom. I don't think there's going to be anything on the auction house. It is Quetzalcoatl, after all. We're going to do a bid. We're going to do armor. We're going to look at shoes. Which is probably the most important accessory, isn't it? All right, we'll start with the level one stuff. We'll also check the level 15, see if there's a high quality thing on there. Um, look at that. Fisherman boots. How much do they go for? 10k? <laughs> Alright. I got 10k. Greedy. Bad. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Supply and demand, right? Yeah. Watch it not go for... Oh, no. Nope, we got the boots. Alright, let's check out the pants. You don't always need pants to go fishing. You always don't need pants to go black maging. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, fisherman's hose. Wait, are you actually going to do a fishing screen? <laughs> I like how I just didn't answer that. Um, how much do they go for? Price history. 30 kit. Plus one's good. How much do the high quality go for? Curiosity. Angler's hose. Not that they have any. That's ridiculous. You don't even get any additional fishing skill out of the high quality. You just get, what is it, a little bit more defense? And not even that much more? Well, no, you get seven more defense, so okay. <laughs> Happy Thursday, 02307. Happy Thursday. Finally got to use that pole arm. Got me last year. It's awesome. <laughs> um, I wonder what the O twenty three O seven. He's probably O twenty three or something. Something. Did I buy it? I don't think I did. I think I was just complaining about the price because the price is kind of high. The price is not right, not well, not for plus one fishing skill, but especially when you're not going to need it for where we're going, but oh well, we have it now. Uh, body piece, this will probably be like 100k. I see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Watch, well, maybe not, maybe this will be the 1k piece. Oh, they do have a lot of blouses on the auction house, don't they? Yes, yes they do. Hey, look at that, it's like three of them. Uh, wow, okay. Not bad. What about the high quality one? Curiosity. That's that's all I want to check on. Um, no, no. There we go. Angler's tunica. Not that they have it, but if they did, it wouldn't be much more. Because it doesn't give any additional fishing skill. It's just, you know, if you have to have that white border, because, you know, some people, high quality or GTFO, and go play WoW. Price history. Actually, I don't know if they, anybody says that anymore. Back in my day, they Actually, no, I think uh, World of Warcraft turned into much, much, much more stringent as far as uh, gear checks were, and uh, Final Fantasy XI got less and less so. That's not true. I mean, the players that still play it are pretty freaking hardcore, and I'm still a scrub by their standards. I don't think there is a fishing hat. I know they have goggles that you can get through uh, Records of Eminence ish thingies um, um no so you'd be down there at the bottom level 115 stuff you also have to sort it for level but i'm gonna check anyways just because it's been like what 15 years since i started this game and i can't really keep up with every little thing and just those roe glasses and yet i can somehow keep up with all the fishing stuff <laughs> So then a chair. No, no, no. There, there are some hats though that are blue, and they kind of go with the, uh, you know, the whole fishing outfit. But it's all right. Of course, now all we just need is bait. All right. So go. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! I forgot the gloves. I mean, I didn't. I remembered them before I left the auction house, but I, I kind of did forget the gloves because I was all ready to take off. So, boo on me. And back in my day, there weren't nearly as much stuff. Oh, no! Really? 
They like had multiples of everything on the auction house, except, you know, clubs. Nah, that's too difficult. And they don't even have the high quality version. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. Let's see what it takes to make them. Open new tab. FF11. Fisherman's gloves. There is a quest item headpiece you can get in Sandy that's latent effect fishing plus one. Ah, they work until your skill is 40 plus. That's, I vaguely remember that. Let's see what her fishing skill is. I don't think it's that high. Might be like in the 30s. Um, craft skill 32. Way to call it, Dad. All right. Fisherman's Glove, Son and Father is... <gasps> is that the one that, like, leads up to the, um... What you call it? The Paladin AF stuff? Probably not. Oh, this is easy. Cotton Cloth and two Lizard Skins. Leather Crafting, level 14. Anybody can do this. All right. So let's go, uh... Let's go make some gloves. Actually, are there any lizard skins on the auction house? And how much do they go for? Mm -hmm. Bid materials. Leather crafting. Hopefully you can't hear that. But the kitty's in the cat box. Doing kitty in the cat box stuff. Yeah, let's not listen to that. You know, give her her privacy. Lizard skins go for how much a stack? 15k? You only need two. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Well, watch would be enough 15. Actually, doesn't say any yes. That sounds about right. I wonder. No. Why? No. You probably smell funny. Go away. What? She always likes to announce her presence. I'm like, I'm done! <laughs> Cloth craft. I saw a kitty. <laughs> I know, she's been really, uh, how shall we say... She's been the camera horror lately. Especially this week. Uh, cotton cloth, cotton cloth, cotton cloth. Like, I'm one to talk. It's like, no, wait, 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 camera, camera, I'm over here. <laughs> Price history, 1K! Oh, that's ridiculous. It's just like three cotton threads stuck together with some dirt. Mm, that's what it is. And now we need, uh, what was it? It's got to be an earth crystal, right? Yeah. Do I have any earth crystals? I should. I killed enough Mandy's yesterday. Yeah. All right. So you take the earth crystal. Mm-hmm. And then you go over here and let's see. Take two of the lizard skins. Take one of the cut and cloths. Kids, turn around. You don't want to watch this. And then, you know, magic happens. If you're superstitious like myself, you can, you know, face south. But I'm actually facing southwest because, oh, well, maybe I'm not that superstitious anymore. Any less. Yay, it didn't explode. Yay, I got fishman's gloves. Yeah, I probably don't have inventory space for them. But we will make space. A mug wardrobe number four. Wow, we don't have enough space in mug wardrobe four. Sad, sad face. Oh well. Um, what's up, kitty? I always face south when doing earthcrafts. Even now. it's like some habits. You just, you know. <laughs> she didn't like that. <laughs> and then when I looked at her, she's like, mm -hmm. okay. Just being weird. All right, uh, Mog Wardrobe three. How much space do you have? You have like no space. How about Mog Wardrobe two? We got space. In Mog Wardrobe two. Some habits craft hard. And I passed it again, didn't I? It's okay. There we go. So we're gonna hold on to the fisherman tunica and the fisherman glove and the fisherman's hose and the fisherman's boots. We'll put all that stuff there, and then we can go over here. Log wardrobe number five and six are bust. Psh. Log wardrobe five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just, just give us the option, Square Enix. Unlimited inventory space for $100 a month. I'd pay it. 
I think I know of at least a dozen other players that would pay it. Probably more. Mm -hmm. By the way, you've been streaming for a while now. Has Twitch ever offered to do that affiliate thing with you, Dent? No. No, it's because, one, I'm too old. Two, I don't have any boobs. And, well, I, I do, actually, but I don't show them all. You see, Sammy would pay for it. I would pay for it. You know, it's all like $100 a month so you don't have to worry about sorting your bags, what to keep, what to sell. $100 a month so you could hoard everything oh yeah yeah definitely all right um but we're not doing that tonight then actually i don't know if i'd do that at first but... <laughs> fisherman hose hello miss kitty your butt's wet we're gonna have a talk after the stream wow you smell like cat food all right so that's what syndical looks like in a fisherman's gear let's go ahead and hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I don't know. I mean, it really doesn't seem to go with it, but at the same time, I kind of like it. How's the song go? Kind of, I want to. Maybe not tonight. Maybe I should. Maybe it'll be alright. Yeah, there we go. Sunglasses. When in doubt, sunglasses. All right, so in Mark Wardrobe number four, we got a Lu Shang's Rod Mithra in the Iron Mask, right? All right, and then no, do I have any insect paste? Probably not. Not that you really need insect paste, but I kind of want it. All right, uh, that's fine. That's fine. What is the Moon Phase too? I should have checked that before picking a title. Uh, current time is... Let's do that. C-L-O-C-K. Full moon! Stop what you're doing. You're wasting time. It's like the best time to go fishing. Do you have the eye patch? I do not. That would be really cool to go fishing with. Almost as cool as the goggles. So we're going to travel to another home point. We're going to... Actually, we're going to check to see who's got control of the Arog now region. It's probably the Beastmen. Sandy has control of... My goodness. Are they in first? They're in first. Well done, Sandy. All right, so we're going to cheat. Um, travel to another home point. Current region. Northern Sandoria. By the... Uh, whatever that place is. No, not that one. That one. Yeah. Yes, please. We're going to pick up a stack of... Corn. Yes. Because you need corn for insect paste, and I might be going crazy, but I thought I just saw a scroll, a little light flash. I'm probably just going crazy. And then um, we're going to pick up some worms and some distilled water because you just can't seem to do anything in this game without distilled water. No, that's the map lady. This is the gentleman, this dandy fellow here. Interested in goods from Arogano? And don't judge me because I know exactly where this guy was. No, you can judge me, it's alright. 12 should be enough. That'll get you 12 stacks as long as you don't blow anything up. And then we're gonna run over here and... It used to be really upsetting if Arogano was under Beastman control because... Because then you had to go to, uh, what do you call it? Tabnazia to buy your corn. And that's only if you've gotten far enough along the uh, the uh, story so that, hey, look, we're getting goods from Juno again. Want to buy some corn at an inflated price? Southern Sandoria, mark number four. Yes, please. Of course, you also had to get your cooking skill up to, I think it caps at 29 for the insect base. And if you get a high quality synth, well, too bad you're still just getting 12. And back in my day, bait didn't, uh, what you call it, stack up to 99. It was one of those, uh, you knows, stuffs, things. Let's buy some little worms. I don't need that many. 12 should be enough. 12, all right. And then we're gonna go over here and open here, because distilled water 
You can buy distilled water pretty much anywhere. I think even in Juno. You see, we're getting the fifth Archangel Trust this month. Yes! On the uh, 15th? Or is it on the 11th? No, it's on the 11th. No, it's going to be on the, uh, I guess, 10th for us. Or is it 14th? I don't remember. What day is Vanadil Day on? The 15th, right? Because, you know, 15th anniversary? The 11th? Or is it 11-11 day? I saw the Twitter thing pop up on my phone earlier, and I was all like, oh, okay, and apparently that's how they did it um, in September, but since I was, like, at work, and they wouldn't let me install Final Fantasy XI at work, so, you know, Benadryl Day is the 14th day, I believe. Ah, so that makes sense. All right, so just to make sure while I'm still in town that I am doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing, we're going to do news, and we're going to look for stops. A million coin, there we go. Take one of those, and then... Looking for the distilled water. There we go. And now I just need the worms. Then that should be up by the ammo. There we go. And click OK. There we go. That works. This one will explode. Just you wait and see. Because Cynical, she's got like level 100 uh, cooking. So... A level 29 cent. Wow, didn't even HQ. Oh. Well, it wasn't like I was in all my fishing gear, or fishing gear, my crafting gear, little funny chef's hat and that kind of stuff. Although I think I have a macro to put that stuff on. Oh, we're not going to worry about that now. Let's go to macros. Let's look at edit macros. Let's go and check Paladin since we're already on those. Do I have... I do have a fishing macro. Awesome! Alright, and since uh, Karu is right here, we're just going to be able to like, sell some stuff like... Oh, I don't know. These two-leaf mandragora buds. Yeah. You can craft with these. I forget what. I think it's like alchemy sense. Not a good one. How many people are in quits at the moment? Um... It looks like it's just me. More or less. I'm probably going to sell that lizard skin, but let's see. Sell it on Ygritte. The these go for a decent price on the auction house. They really do. But... They just don't go that often. 253. And that's up from last night, isn't it? Search. Oh. 255. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, last synth. Will that still work? There we go. It's like the best macro ever. Last synth. Actually, the best command line. I really, really, really wish they had added this. Back in the day. I mean, the good old days. Well, like, we're just going to take everything that you just did and do it again. People would have been like, oh, I can go to the bathroom. Well, synthine. This is awesome. I'll be right back. Dun, dun, dun. But then people would be all like, oh, no, 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 no. That's a hack. We're not going to let you play with us. Mm hmm. Because they're obviously hacking, as opposed to the rest of us that, uh, you know, we're not obviously doing it. Oh, well. I guess I should let that go, too. A long, long, long time ago. All right, so we're going to um, hop on a mount. Let's go ahead and... Oh, hi, Ember. I forgot it was on Dragoon. Let uh, Since we got the Hippogriff yesterday, and no, we're going to go fishing. So let's go on a fish. Bum, bum. So, yeah, I don't know if this is a fish. It's more like, I guess, a squid. And one of my drinking buddies uh, sent me a uh, text message that says, What happens when you mix Call of Cthulhu and Thanksgiving together? And he followed it up with a photo of a uh, Thanksgiving Day turkey with an octopus coming out of the back of it. And it was like, uh... It was like really gross. I was like, ew! D4M3! Happy... I forget what day it is. It's Thursday. It doesn't feel like Thursday. Happy Thursday! I apparently found that tree, and I really don't know what the Zomit is doing to it. It's probably naughty. Probably Cthulhu-esque. 
and that tree's just going, ew, 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 go away. But that's what happens when, you know, you're on auto run. Speaking of which, should I do a wide scan? See if the, uh, you know, the dude is up? Dude. The jaggedy ear jack? I'm sure he isn't. <gasps> it's impossible to gauge. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I think I don't even think I have the inventory space for it. But let's see, ability, job ability, super jump. Did I miss? Oh, that's lame. All right. So uh, ability, job ability, high jump. There we go. Yeah, I got the Clippius. Do you get a title for killing Fungus Beetle? Please tell me you do. Status. Profile. Cat Burger Groupie. So no. No, you don't. When I miss FF11, I just don't check you out. Why, thank you! You know FF11 misses you too, right? Mm -hmm. It's like I want to open that link, Santa, but I'm also. Oh no, it's gonna be like a Call of Cthulhu with uh, the octopus, isn't it? But it is. Let's see what it opens up to. Oh no, it's Jaggedy or Jack. Yeah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> He's in a little Carby hat too. Okay, it's a safe link, guys. <laughs> Let's look at Matt gets a little raunchy about three minutes in. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Just checking wide scan. Thinking Jaggedy or Jack would be like a really long name to show up. But, ooh, Harbator. And, nah, I don't see him. Oh, no. What are you doing that port? Oh, it's a fence. Never mind. I thought it was a tree, but. Mount. So, I'm not exactly sure where we're going to. Well, I'm headed to Nightswell because that's like the best spot for moat carps. I'm not going to get any skill ups here though. So I was thinking maybe at one place, you know, with the oasis. Actually, yeah, let's try that. Let's see how bad it is on a full moon. I usually don't like fishing for boats while in town because you get a lot of junk. And I. Don't remember if rusty buckets stack now. You think they would because you could put one bucket on top of the next and on top of the next, and then hey, look, it's a stack of buckets. It's not that hard, Square Enix, but like, no. No. Non stacking buckets is the way to go. So, you know. And then I think about it, I don't think they st still stack. Um, let's do a teleportation assistance. Let's look for Ryza's alert area. Um, I think you can fish for him and row me, you too, but that's close for like level 50. Yeah, let's try Rabao. Still don't know if that's how you say it, but... We could go fish next to that one guy with the, uh, you know, glow-in-the-dark fishing rod. Mm-hmm. And see if we get some skill ups. I'm trying to remember what is the other fish here that you're going to skill up on that's going to eat the insect paste. Well, shoot, I could probably fish up like a... Did I forget to put my gloves on? I forgot to put my glove... Oh, I can't use that right now. Dang it. Did you just hate that? It's like, hey, I forgot the gloves. Let me put it on. It's like, you can't do that right now. I'm like, God. How dare you deny me? Wardrobe 2... Fishing gloves. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I have one. Or at least I have one on another character. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's the field rope. I, I thought maybe I'd have a fishing rope. Curses. Do I have a fishing torque? Culinarian's torque. Oh, well. Sad face. 
Not that you need one. All right, so yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the windmills are pumping or doing and that kind of thing. Yeah, so we'll just pretend we do. It's probably like, you know, just filtration stuff. You can't fish without bait on the hook, noob. Like, yeah, I knew that. So I should make some more bait. And while doing that, we're going to do the one thing that actually makes fishing more enjoyable than it latently is. And that's called liquor. Cheers, everyone. It's not that much, but oh well. So how was my day? I was, well, yesterday sucked. And the bruise on my hand, I don't know how well you can see that, but um, it's like there's some, you can see my middle finger is definitely darker than the rest of the hand here. This is what happens when you um, one inch punch a uh, load bearing wall. Oh no, you did not just take one of my distilled, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. That's one emote that can stop everything. So, Chef's Hat, followed by... Don't we have it there? I guess we don't. Culinarian's Apron. Okay. And now, continue last synthing. Cyndaquil. Breaking a level 29 synth. Anyway, one inch pinched... One inch pinched... One inch punched... A wall. Actually, it was. It was more than an inch. And, uh. Yeah. Didn't damage the wall. Well, it was more of a shelf. Like a 12 foot long shelf with a lot of weight behind it. It didn't budge at all. Made a loud clangy noise. And. Better I hit that than I hit somebody else that, you know, can turn around and sue my ass. They would have deserved it. Anyhow, I was convinced today was going to be a better day. I even went into work half an hour early so I could get a jump start on everything. I was like, I'm going to have all the prescriptions from last night finished. I'm going to have all the insurance things fixed. I'm going to have all the doctor calls ready to go, sorted, pulled. Everything was going to be perfect at 9 o'clock. So I could just lean back, drink my coffee, answer phone calls, and flirt with old grannies. And then the people that make our software decided that yesterday would be a great day to do an update and that this update would be broken. And so for the first half hour, it was taking six to seven minutes to type a single prescription when it normally takes 10 seconds. Because you type take, T-A-K-E, and then the computer goes, not responding. Oh. It was like, maybe it's just my computer. I booted up another computer, tried it. No, no, it was the software. I'm like, that's not... So yesterday, I was like, you know, punched a wall. I think Lanos flipped his desk over yesterday. We don't work together, but yeah. Um, I was like, ready to go back out to the car, get the baseball bat, and just start smashing everything. And then just walk out the door, leave my keys on the counter. Screw this. Done. And, but... And it was like, calm down, Dent. Calm down, Dent. Thank. What did they do? And it's like, well, they screwed up the update. What do you do when you got a bad update? Well, you use an older version. How do you use the older version? You hack Windows. So, what the hell? It's Earth Day. We're like 102 fishing skill plus two. It's a full moon. Why are you breaking sense? Sorry. Um, did you see the notice comment? Oh! I forgot about that. I have a link to that somewhere. No, it's in favorites. Anyhow, um, even the uh, email that I was trying to type to the software people to say that their update was broken took like three minutes to type up because computer not responding. And every now and then you would get this, you know, red windows error that said, unknown thing happened. Please call customer support. So I got it working right at 9 o'clock, and instead of being all, you know, ahead of the game and ready to go and all this, no, it was, I could have left at my usual time, and it would have been just the same. This is like, this is the game laughing at me right now. 
<sighs> but hey, look, look on the bright side. I've lost one distilled water, one little worm, and one ear of million corn. So that's kind of, and those three broken scents are more or less just one big critical failure. So that's not so bad. At least it balances everything. There we go. There we go. So we should have... What was it? 121-ish insect paste? Nope. I did math wrong. 132 for some reason or another. You summon in all five AAs, there will be a special effect activated. You've got the three earth crystals. I should have like a lot of earth crystals. Oh, I should. I probably don't. Not as many as I did before. Yay! That fishing macro actually has macros to swap in pieces of gear that I used to own. And then I probably sent a song. This way. To the left. This feels like a moat carp. That's a moat carp, alright. Boom, boom, boom. Now let's see what we got going on records of eminence wise. Multiple fish and total catches anywhere. Really? That's it? Oh, freshwater too. So, quest, objective list, unity. Is today a fishing day in Apuru? Nope. Oh well. Um, nope. So go back over here, fishing. I love how they had, I love how it has its own category now. Multiple big fish, multiple rest of objects. We're probably gonna get a few of those. No enemies, no, no, no. Fish pulling rod. And reel in 25 different catches. We're not gonna get that today. So, we're good to go. I think. Yeah. Don't forget the anniversary record of eminence for Moat Carps. Ah! Cancel that. Thank you. Quest. Objective list. That's gonna be under this one, maybe. Claret Carp. Fish up Moat Carp the requisite number of times. Only ten? Really? Alright. And maybe there... I have no idea what any of these... I really need to read these. H. Galleon! Happy Thursday. I had to switch back to regular Twitch. Beta doesn't have whispering. How dumb is that? But we can whisper to each other? And why would we whisper to each other? Unless we were, like, you know, having an affair. Did you ever get your Burke Gang? No. I did get an ulcer, but that had nothing to do with this game. Nah, I had to... I had to lay low for a couple months. <laughs> and I just got back this week. What? Want Jordanul's fishing run? Is that a question or just a statement? And I don't know. I mean, I, I like that they're going to give the dude, or the guy with the glow in the dark fishing rod, that they're going to make him Elbon. Because as far as all the fishing animations go, male Elbon tend to have the best one only because of that foot tapping action. I think all races should have that, especially Taru Taru. But uh, I wanted to send him a link without posting it in public. <gasps> Is it because it's a naughty link? It's probably because it's a naughty link. <laughs> Gatsby Roads! I didn't mean to ignore you. What day is it? It's Thursday. Happy Thursday! Yeah, I was talking to the cat just now. She's just looking at me. <laughs> oh, that means Woosh and Sema are having an affair because we're whispering to each other. It's okay. It's the internet. It's allowed. <laughs> So anyway, supposedly we're supposed to get a different kind of fish here. But right now it looks like we're just going to be getting moat carps. And I'm okay with that. And stuff. No, it's not naughty, but it's rude to link to one's own site publicly in another person's chat. Whoosh! I give you permission. Actually, you got that little, uh, you know sword thingy to the left of your name so you probably gave yourself permission to it's okay it, it's it's not like it's the end of the world or it might be shoot it would suck if the end of the world happened on a friday it's like man i want to have happy hour too dang it oh well what would we do if it was the end of the world coming 
how would we spend our final moments in FF11? And I'm not just talking, you know, right before they merge servers with another server kind of thing. This is like, you know, when they like turned off the Matrix online and they just started, you know, killing all the players with Agent Smiths and stuff. That would be cool. Yeah, last man standing. That'd be awesome. Okay, then everyone come visit my webcomic if you like Final Pass 11, 14 gaming in general. And, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Mithras with big, you know, headlamps. Yeah, that's family friendly. I'm like, Mom, what's a headlamp? And it's like, those, those uh, you know, things on a car. I'm like, oh! I don't see any cars on Wusha's, uh... Actually, no, he might have one. It's not just all TNA. He's got some Galkas on there, too. Very well muscular. <laughs> At least one. Mithra with booty. Yes. Pirate Mithras. The Corsairs. You know, pirate booty. Definitely. That's why female Elbon make the best Corsairs. Because they've got the best pirate booty. Mm-hmm. Arg. <laughs> Definitely. Actually, I was talking to a nurse's aide this uh, afternoon who I think the only English she knew was pirate speak. And she was just like, rah, 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 rah. I was like, wait, you want to know where the warperin is? Arg. They're like, it's too soon. Arg. Like, we can fill it Saturday. Arg. Can you wait till Saturday? Arg. I'm not exaggerating. This is a conversation I it's like, I'll just fill it Saturday then and we'll deliver it. Okay? Arr. Bye. I know it was a nurse's aide because I've spoken to the patient before and he's very well spoken. There is a, another gentleman that um, has Lou Gehrig's disease and speaks that way. And I do not mean to make fun of him or people with Lou Gehrig's. Um, he's doing the best he can with what he's got left. But, no, this is just more a crack at a... <laughs> so it's BS we have to put up with on a day-to-day -day basis. And... Yeah. Sounds kind of like talking to Tim Allen. <laughs> oh, yay, 90s sitcoms. Jokes that only people that played FF11 can get. Well, that's not true. I guess that stuff probably, you know, was it Home Improvement? That's got to be on Netflix, right? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Didn't he used to sell coke back in the day? Like before, you know, the TV show? I bet Jordan will probably used to sell coke back in the day, you know. It's a very lucrative time back in the 80s. I'm not judging, you know, I mean, I sell drugs. But I'm licensed by the state of Texas to, well, assist a pharmacist to help sell them. Actually, no, I just more answer phones and bill insurance and tell people that, yeah, your insurance, they want a prior authorization for penicillin because penicillin is too expensive for your insurance <sighs> to carry. I don't know. You know it's getting bad, people. And it's like all the generic companies are, uh, all the good ones are getting out of the market. Um, they're just the bad ones and then they're gonna raise the price, and it's gonna be more expensive than brand, and just crazy. You have any Rift Dross for sale, Cyndaquil? Maybe. Well, maybe not. Jordan used to sell drugs. He still does. But he used to. He was busy the last month, and then out of the ER. Dang it! Oh, well, I hope you're better. That was the last time I went to the ER. I had to take the missus. Because, uh... She let a, uh, kidney infection go unchecked, and it started going into sepsis. Don't... Oh, no, we didn't know that at the time, but... <sighs> uh, sepsis, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Bro Dama! I almost forgot to say happy Thursday to your friend. Happy Thursday! Bum, 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 bum. What you doing? I'm fishing up moat carps. In a... Culinarian's hat for some reason. I forgot to put my sunglasses back on. That's a uh, good. She really looks different without the hair sticking up, doesn't she? Mm, there we go. Snow bunny hat. Yeah, there we go. 
can get used to that. Still trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Sadly, we know it's not diabetes, sepsis, or Hashimoto so far. You know, my first red Gyarados, I named Hajimoto. I miss that guy. I was so devastated when the battery in my uh, silver cart died and they were all just wiped off. Damn. Uh, what do you mean, what's wrong with you? I mean, whoosh, he's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, he keeps going to the emergency room. That's not good. But if you keep going to the emergency room, it's not like they can, you know. Oh, here's what's wrong with you. It's medicine. It's educated guessing, and you know, a lot of it's trial and error, and you have to do that with, uh, you know, usually the same doctor that can hold on to your charts and, you know, lab results and all that other fun stuff. Body temp is lower than normal. God, I wish that was me. I was in the ER for a temperature of ninety-one point. Okay, I don't wish that was me. Along with dizziness, lightheaded. Circulation would be my first guess, but, you know, I haven't examined you. I haven't seen your blood work. And even if I did, I'd be like, mmm. What do these letters mean again? It was like, yeah, how was work today? It started out really sucky. And... Then, at right at 9 o'clock, when it was supposed to be, are you in the medical field? No, I just sell drugs. I just have to always tell customers, it's like, I know you're not a doctor. I'm like, no, I'm not even a pharmacist. They're like, yes, but you know everything about drugs. I'm like, I know you stick them in your mouth and you swallow them. That's about all I know about drugs. They sometimes cause stomach upset. Death sells drugs. And candy. We have candy, too. I bought some Trident today. They didn't want to give me the receipt. They're like, you don't need a receipt. You bought it here. And I'm like, what if the owner's like, where'd you get that Trident from? I was like, from up front. And they're like, mm-hmm. I paid for it. Where's your receipt? Right here. Always hold on to your receipts. Especially if you're buying at the store. And uh, we also sell toilet paper. We don't sell a lot of toilet paper, but it's there in case people need it. Because sometimes, you know, it's... Actually, it's in the same aisle the Modi made ease on. I never put those two together until just now. Anyhow, um, people are always like, I think my dad's taking too many medications. He's taking this and this and this and this and this and this and this. What do you think? It's like, well, legally, legally, I'm not supposed to be able to tell you to stop taking anything. It sounds like Rite Aid or Walgreens. It's an independent pharmacy, actually. Um, which is why I get to keep my ponytail and punch stuff. But, uh, no, nah, it's a very nice neighborhood where everybody knows everybody, and instead of uh, customers coming in angry, it's all like, hey, give me the right guy. It's all like, I brought cookies. It's like, I love you, lady. <laughs> uh, there's not too many of them left. We're being stamped out like ants. Oh, yeah. Cookies. <laughs> oh, no. It's like our new hire. So that's the uh, biggest uh, obstacle she's had to overcome is uh, picking up the phone and customers just not automatically yelling her at her. That's all I No, well. We also don't have a answering service. When the phone rings, we just pick it up and it's like, Yo, need drugs? Take care of you. Yeah! Do you have the yellow hydrocodones? I'm like, oh, it's one of you people. No, quit calling. <laughs> the uh, story behind that is there are different manufacturers of hydrocodone. The white ones don't sell for as much on the street. The yellow ones, which are supposedly better, turn a bigger profit. So when people are calling around saying, hey, do you have the yellow hydrocodones? It's, uh, sometimes it's because they've tried the white ones and they don't work for them, but most of the time it's because they plan on reselling it for quite a bit more than what I'm selling it to them at. And every now and then we get a busload of them. They all have the exact same prescription, and we fill the first one, and then we tell every, you know, customers 2 through 18, Sorry, we just sold out. Bye. When are you going to get some more? Never. Aww. None nearby like that. I gotta go to Walgreens. I mean, spent my first two and a half years in the business at Walgreens, cutting my teeth. 
Deoden. Almost didn't see you there. Happy Thursday, Deoden. I had to stop and think about it too. And then I gotta go to Walgreens. It was a CVS last year. But apparently they lost the contract to Walgreens. Oh yeah, they're doing that too. CVS they bought Caremark. Um Walgreens bought Rite Aid. And I want to say Walgreens purchased their own insurance company. It's not as big as Caremark though. And uh it's getting very what's the word I'm looking for? Where the basically, you know, antitrust stuff, but oh well. Why are Walgreens and CVS right next to each other all the time? Because they're competing. Do they draw up plans together? No. They're competing. They're trying to force each <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, Cynical just got a fishing skill up. Oh my good. I was not planning on this. Shit. Be right back. I'm gonna need more whiskey for this one. Square Enix, I know you're listening. Make it so that any time we get a fishing skill up, I don't care if it's a point one or a point two or whatever, give us the level up music for it. You know, Cyndaquil gets a fishing skill up. Dun 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 dun. I don't want to add too much. Did I take my pills? No. Dang it! You know, Cortana's supposed to remind me about this stuff. Actually, I think she did, and I hit the snooze button on it. Oh, well. Really, I'm gonna get back to the fishing here in just a little bit. But, yeah. I like how the uh, pharmacist that fills my pills at work puts the uh do not take this medication while drinking alcohol <laughs> little sticker on there he did a joke on me one time and uh, put the uh for vaginal use only on there and i'm like hey <laughs> that's obscene <laughs> Anyway, monopolistic, same as McDonald's and Burger King, congrats. Same thing with Hampton Inns and Denny's. There used to be a uh, La Quinta Inn next to the Denny's that we went to, and then the La Quinta Inn um, got condemned, and then the Denny's couldn't stay open because, you know, reasons. Hopefully be home and online soon. All right, Dayoden, don't know if you have bots running here, but you could make that a macro noise if you did. Oh, that'd be neat. But no, this is this even isn't windowed, unfortunately. Uh, if it was, it would be in such nicer resolution, maybe? No, probably not. I keep forgetting that even though I'm playing this in 1080p, it's being sent out to uh, Twitch as the uh, 720, because otherwise people start getting, uh, how shall we call it, hiccups, where it's like, the video is coming in and out. But on the weekends when I'm just playing for fun, I'll uh, open up Window War and there I've got the resolution settings cranked out to max and I'll be like, it's so beautiful. It's like, hey Dent, what you doing? I was like, I'm in the Mog House just staring at my Moogle. I haven't seen anything like it. And then I'll do like a, a water synth and be like, <gasps> Cat, come look at this. She's just like, eh. you said not running Windows? What are you running? Wine? Linux? A oh, windower is what I meant to say. It's because I've been drinking tonight. Sometimes I say Texas instead of Dallas. Sometimes I say Houston instead of Texas, or vice versa. One time, I got the Mrs. name wrong. Just once. <laughs> Never make that mistake again. <laughs> All right, Deoden, draft carefully. There we go. This must be a sandfish. Are we gonna get a fishing skill up? Give me a fishing skill up. Mm. Well, screw you, game. I didn't want a fishing skill up anyways. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. What are we also gonna do now? No, this is it. Um, 
you're all thinking is like, oh, he's just gonna fish for a little bit and then he'll go on and you know, kill something. I'm like, no, nah. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I saw that first day you were back, someone asked you how far it was from Texas to Dallas, and you said four hours. This is true. You can drive across Dallas, or the Metroplex we call it, you know, the big giant transformer. Um, it takes about four hours to do the entire loop around the Beltline with traffic and stoplights. Or you could get on, you know, the expressways and probably do it too. It used to take four hours for me to, uh, but Dallas is in Texas. Sometimes. Sometimes. We'll have to wait and see what happens when, uh, the succession happens. I don't know if, uh, Dallas will, uh, separate from the state like the rest of the state will. You may have to ask from Houston, Dallas. Something like that. You know Dan, he's multitasking, and even when he's, like, focused on one thing, he's not always paying attention. Like, fishing. You think I'm thinking about it right now? I'm like, no. It's just going through the motions. Wandering Seth! Happy Thursday! Bum, bum, ba -dum. I'm just in a good mood because I got a fishing skill up. Even if we get no more milk carps tonight, you know, we got that fishing skill up, and the game can't take that away from us. It's not like you can actually de level in fishing, can't you? No, no. Fishing is one of those things that you can take up to. Uh, a hundred, despite the uh, other sense. Isn't, um... That other stuff. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun! Here come the sand frogs. <laughs> Do I have my emote button ready? Two more hours. Wonder if he has enough subjects to talk about. No, I just talk about the same thing over and over and over again. Boom. Oh, for a second there, I was like, wait, what's Sama doing? Wow. That's not awkward or anything. It's like he was nibbling on my tunic or something. Yeah. Okay, maybe we might not do any more fishing tonight. Um, kids? Might want to go to bed. Sam and I are going to, uh, you know, grin at each other. Beware of your bum around Sam. It's like every time that somebody walks past me and, you know, accidentally bumps into my butt and then be all like, Ow! Hey, my wallet! <laughs> but, you know, that only happened once. Alright, here we go. Vanquished Plantoids? Oh, we were doing that last night. Fish buttons. Hey, it's Langley! Got stars over his head, and whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it was supposed to be fish, and they hit the harvest button. There we go. Macros. Ain't they awesome? Dun, dun, dun. Yay, milk carps. Is that the Ibisu rod? It looks rather fancy. Congratulations on milk carp. Exactly. That's what this game needs. More milk carps. I have to wonder. Do they, like... The GMs during maintenance, do they just come by with big, giant tanks of milk carps and dump them all back in there? So they do something like that with, um... Uh, the chocobo digging thing. Because you can, like, run a zone out of stuff to dig up. And then when nobody's looking, you know, the goblins come by and start burying stuff again. I'm so proud of my Ibisu. I would be too. I looked at what was involved in it and I was like, no. I got the fishing boots and the apron and I was like, I'm happy with that. But, yeah. Why doesn't it glow? There's... There's another quest after you get it, isn't there? It's like... The afterglow thing where you have to like trade over something something <gasps> probably 255 thingies that drop off the shadow lord now nah, that can't be it your brought doesn't glow with subpar that's not true well no that's not true it's not the size of a mithra's rod it's you know what she's trying to fish up with it 
I wasn't enticed. Fishing in 97 was hard enough, right? I never wanted to do the quest. See, I got fishing up to 92? Wait, that looks like the back end of a Lanos rep. Wait, let me see, let me see. Yep! Yeah, that, I'd recognize that posterior anywhere. Did he just invisible himself? Yeah, there he is. Check. Let's see what's in there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Inventory space. Minus. Lannis is like, my bazaar! <laughs> you weren't supposed to buy that. It's okay. I'll probably, like, auction house it or NPC it. I'll probably send it the song. The song's all, oh, yay, more junk. <laughs> yay. <laughs> you know what this game needs? Exactly. Swimsuits. Um, let's see, mug satchel, storage slip, it's gonna be one of the latter storage slips, isn't it? Like 20, apparently, if you do the ninja emote while invisible, you become invisible. Then auto-invis when the emote is over. Ah, five ways. Happy Thursday. Good evening, Dent. I wanted to say earlier, super jump is for losing enmity. Yeah, I remember that after the fact. Not doing damage, it was a Nikki. Good white mage. Oh. Um, actually has all the jobs mastered um but most of the stuff that i got to do with her she was on white mage and she was the one that told me that the only reason she took dragoon up to 37 back in good old days was so that when they were doing cure spams um and they got hate all they had to do was super jump was like all the jobs mastered yeah and like a bunch of different characters well i don't know about that she uh last time i actually chatted with her in game it would have been, uh, I think she was went to Odin, I think. We usually chat through text message very occasionally. But uh, during lunch break today, I was reading, uh, what do you call it, uh, Massively something, something, something. And it was basically uh, talking about, oh, I'll just pull it up. I'll just take a second here. Instead of having to try and describe it awkwardly. Bum, bum, bum. Because I have FF11 as one of my news feeds. Don't laugh. That's how I find out most stuff. Um, brief history, CSEs, worst strategy guide ever made. We know they're talking about the, uh, what you call it. October version update is coming. Why is it not on here now? Who cares? I'll just go to the text message, because I sent her a link to it. And... Nikki. Scroll up. Button. Here we go. The Daily Grind. This is from MassivelyPop.com, 27, September 24th. So it's actually not that old. Um, he's basically talking about when he was a low level and he was trying to get the RSE gear out of uh, one of those dungeons. And uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, friend, he was low level. Shoves his buttons in Nicole's face. There we go. Slash. Panic. Anyways. That's what Mithras do. His friend had to log out for something and go to work, sleep. And he was left there deep in the dungeon, not knowing how to even get out, much less how to uh, find anything else. And then this random thief uh, Mithra person came by and he's like, You lost? And I'm like, Oh, so and so was trying to help me get this and open this treasure chest, and now he's gone and. I don't know what to do. I'm like, oh, that's no problem. They open a party, finish the quest for him. Here's a chest, open it up, and got the thingy, you got to go back to Juno, and you know, stuff happened. And he's like, random acts of kindness. And that's what he wanted to talk about. And he's like, everybody else in the comments, talk about some of the random acts of kindness that you had in your MMO kind of things. And uh all this stuff, and one person was talking about how oh, the person was nice and did this, and everybody was laughing at him. And then this other person um, said, "No, if you really want to do the summoner uh, level twenty solo battles, this is what you need to do." And start giving advice and stuff like that. And so he was really, really nice. I married that man. I was like, "Aww," and that got me thinking about Nikki and the first time we met because it was the first time I went to Keepum Island. And uh, this was on Dentral. This is like 
old first dentro back when it was on uh, the missus account um and it's like went there and it was, all, it was was told this is where you go to level up and i thought it was just gonna be like another place like the dunes and uh, go in there and they're like all right let's see where i need to go and open up the map and realize oh i don't have the map so i'm turning around and I'm running back to juno and this is uh nikki when she was on her uh Elbon character which i don't remember the name of at the moment i just remember that it's the uh same name that uh conan's wife was or whatever her name was i think i think somebody probably knows that it's like oh you mean this I'm like, yeah that's it um anyways and she's like sending me as all like hey you looking for a party and i'm like not at the moment i will be though i'm headed back to town they're like, oh, you're just trying to be polite because I'm an Elvon on a Red Mage. And I'm like, you know, I didn't even put those two things together. You're a Red Mage? I mean, yeah. I just need to get a map. I figure you can buy one in town. And she's like, lol. Except the party invite. And, uh, that was the start of a very long, entertaining, and wonderful friendship. Thank you, Nikki. And so I sent her a link and told her that I missed her. And she laughed and said, I watch you on YouTube, and I was like, oh! <laughs> It's one thing when I get to uh, stream this to uh, people I've never met in the really, really real world, and uh, <laughs> I was like, oh no. I probably said something to embarrass all of us, but oh well. I gotta scroll up because I was reminiscing and I missed everything that was going on. So let's see here Dallas is in Texas, is that a little too far back. Ready, blah, blah, blah. It's not the size. Yes, it's the glow. Apparently, if you do the ninja emote, yeah, read that one. All jobs masters. Sema. I have all jobs mastered. Whoosh, so insane. Wandering Seth. Sema, most respected on server. I, whoosh. I always did RSC from Gookskin. I hated the other areas like Wardell's. Yeah, Wardell's kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. Oh, no, it still kind of sucks, but. It was like, oh no, the sirens! And so I was just to start having, you know, flashbacks to uh, Silent Hill, and it's like, I'm not falling asleep tonight. Thanks, FF11. Or it's really more Ordell. No, wait, Gookskin. That's what we're talking about. Gookskin's the one with the sirens. Ordell's is just stairs, I'm getting stuck on stairs. They must have mentioned my name several times. <laughs> Random Mexico of Kindness was the name of my link show. Uh, I hope whenever I feel like it got burnt majorly in the past, spent weeks mining in Palbaro mines to get enough gill for a piece of gear for something. A week later, they stopped talking to me. <gasps> Nothing. Blacklisted. It sucks because the clipping problem is running up the stairs and around. So what was... Oh yeah, I came over here to uh, find my swimsuit. So, um, let's see. Is it going to be on... Did I not? I guess I didn't. Where, oh, where could my swimsuit be? It's probably on storage slip 22, maybe 19, and, yeah, let's try 19 and 22. Let's try, well, they're both legal. 22 probably has the skimpier one. Taro climbing stairs, tricky thing. Exactly. Storage slip 22, retrieve an item. Looks like which one? Um, a crab cap. Crap cap would be okay, especially for doing what we're doing. A jingly rod, fire tongue plus one, crustacean shirt, <laughs> uh, cancel. And uh, so it's not on that one, so let's try 19. Anybody trying to climb stairs other than Elvon is a tricky thing. I've just, well, Golka, they don't seem, I haven't really had any trouble with Song, but Dent, Whenever he's like auto following Cyndaquil and we're going up some stairs, he gets stuck. Song gets stuck on trees, so I guess that balances out. Uh, retrieve an item. Um, no, 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 oh, no! Don't tell me I lost it. Behemoth mask. Here we go. Do I have the high? Yeah, I do have the high quality stuff. So get that one and that one. All right. So we're gonna go over here, and I don't want to actually lose my, uh, you know, uh, fishing plus stuff. So we're gonna go to macros, edit equipment. So we're gonna find a blank one. Here we go. Edit, and oh, that's not blank. That's not blank at all. Uh, delete. 
Yes. And then edit. And go over here, and we're gonna put the uh, cozy top right there, and then we'll find the panties, and no, there was already on the panties. And let's go ahead and hmm, yeah, let's keep the snow bunny hat on. It kind of matches. Co what? No. I told you, no new characters until we finish Song and all his missions. She's like sick and tired of looking at Cyndaquil. Create a myth or not myth, but create a taru taru. So anyway, so now that we got that made, we're just gonna do the macros, we're gonna do the equipment set, we're gonna do the, we're gonna style lock it, and it's like BAM! Lots of skin. Game just got better. So I'm right, gonna go target Mr. Sama. He's got his uh creepy mask on. But it's not that creepy. I'll get this angle here and That's like a screenshot right there, isn't it? That's a big frog. <laughs> Alright, hop down. Let's get back to the fishing. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. That's only fair. Let's see here. Since everybody else has their stars on, I should switch to a job with stars. My only job with stars. Main job. Ooh, like someone doesn't even have stars. My only character only job with stars. Paladin. Support job, whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? Macro, that equipment set, style locket, and yeah, that could work. Did you get your Burke gang? Not yet. It's Tuesday. Oh, it won't be next Tuesday. <laughs> Aww. You're ready for you to get your Burke gang so you can actually tank something. Well, no, that's not true. Well, it might be true, but we'll get there. Um, fish. Can't fish without a rod in your hands. Want to bet? I think I still have some of those gold fishing scoop things. I think you can do the gold fish scooping thing from here during the summer. Oh, we gotta wait till next summer for that, though, don't, don't we? Mog wardrobe 4, Lusheng's fishing rod, inventory, insect bowls. Wow, did we already go through like 30 of them? My goodness. Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's when the Mithra don't have any clothes on that you actually get to see how poorly animated it is. I mean... Actually, this is not so bad, but typically the shoulders are just a little bit too wide, but yeah, Sam is going to sleep. It is that time. Night, night. Sama, thank you again for that wonderful, um, what you call it, Polar, that I finally got to equip yesterday, and went from doing, what was it, like 30 points of damage per auto attack, to 1,800 points of damage per auto attack. It's like, it's like I just weapon skill all the time, except when I weapon skill, it's even more, and I'm like, so... I still think I'm going to finish Beastmaster first, but, uh, yeah. Woosh heading out soon. Alright, Woosh. Get some sleep. It was, it was nice. I liked. I was happy. It was like, shoot, we went straight from Mandy's at level 98 to Apex Bats. And it was like, we got our first job point before we even capped out level 99 XP. Yeah. Dress down day. Well, everybody else was showing off something, so I was like, you know, spice it up a bit. And then I started reminiscing and, you know, chatted forever and ever and ever. But yeah, it's just a fun episode, you know, fishing. And she's in a swimsuit, so, you know, she didn't get her armor wet. Because <laughs> it takes forever for that stuff to dry. <laughs> And get sand in the kinks and just chafes and yeah, yeah, see, it makes more sense that way. Nothing wrong with that. I, is that a dagger on her belt or no? That's just a tassel, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Not really, not that's Excalibur, but you see the shoes? She has like little heels and everything. Those don't look comfortable. Not that I would know, you know, what makes. A comfortable heel because all the heels I've ever worn are terribly uncomfortable. Yeah, 
you know, maybe some women will agree. It's like, yeah, they really suck. But they make you look taller. They lift your butt up. You know, there's bonuses to them. Beats walking around on tiptoes. I mean, you are walking around on tiptoes, but you just got a little bit more support. Um, what was I grabbing about earlier? Oh yeah, work. Let's not grab about work anymore. I kept telling, you know, pharmacists after we got the computers fixed, and he's like, today's gonna be a better day. Dang it. Can't be worse than yesterday. I mean, it could be, but it's, it's convinced it's gonna be a better day. Gonna be a better day. Gonna be a better day. But why'd you show up so early? I, like, woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I like, couldn't go back to sleep. And I was like, screw it. Just get dressed and go to work. Finally off work. For good or just for the day? Either way, welcome home, Congo rats. Bum, bum, bum. I got a fishing skill up earlier, so that's why I decided to dress down. It's like, yay, fishing skill up. Everyone take off your clothes. Congo rats time, and everybody showed up, and they're like, yay. Job emoting in. They even celebrated and bought something out of Lanos's, uh Bazaar. I'm gonna try to put it back in my bazaar for like, you know, two gil. See who buys it next. Be funny as it probably stays in there for like the next ten years. But two gil? Too much. <laughs> Lower the price. <laughs> Could happen. Bum, bum, bum. Tomorrow I throw a party for leaving a job that got crappy. Congratulations! You get to like toss in your keys and everything. And you're like, screw this job. We probably just don't even show up. No, 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 that's not that's not the responsible way to exit a uh what you call it? A career choice. Lord Quaz! Happy Thursday. What's uh I always like the idea of, you know, being able to walk out, and as you're walking out, you just pull out your phone and, like, start plan nine. And you put it away, and then the explosions happen behind you and stuff like that. And they're like, oh my god! Oh, it's so terrible. What did he do? You know, plan nine's probably not a good one, but, you know, something silly like that. I already turned in my keys. I just got permission to have a little party. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I can see it. They would put your pants back on. No, probably not. Probably not that kind of party. Well, it's been a long time since we had one of those parties. Say goodbye to everyone. So you're gonna have it there at the uh, hotel. Like, I guess a hotel would be a good place to have parties. I mean, they have get-togethers all the time, ish, don't they? Well, probably. Mm hmm. So what you gonna do with the severance package? You can go like straight to a new job and stick that in the bank and make some money with it, or just use it for like buy a whole bunch of uh, Final Fantasy XI stuff. Probably not. Probably not about. This is the one thing that I noticed was uh, earlier when before the uh, election when we were trying to hire people, couldn't get any applicants. Nobody whatsoever what was applying. To us, and they're like, nobody wants a job. And then uh, the election happened, and then we had to hire people. And it's like hundreds of applications came in. And the owner, she's chatting with me, is like, I don't know why we had, you know, our get to actually pick and choose the best applicants this time versus, you know, hiring whoever applied. And it's like, well, because of the election. I'm like, ah, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. It's been a long time since the staff had a party. I remember the last time we had a party. Yes. It's coming back to me now. It was 1997. It was with Walgreens. Um, oh, goodness. I I'm sure I've mentioned that story. That was the one where I fell through the end table. It was a glass end table. And that was... I think I was yelling at a pharmacist with an Irish accent going... Quit trying to stitch my hand up. You're no nurse. I was like bleeding profusely, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah. 
unfortunately, I don't seem to scar too bad, so, yeah. Morale is low because of ownership change and management change and, ah, just bad stuff. So what you should do is tell them all to create characters on Final Fantasy XI. We'll uh, head down to Bastok in like level one gear and uh, have a party in game. Because then it's also anonymous. They can do whatever they want, say whatever they want, and you know, yeah. It'd be Bastok so there's nobody else down there too. Cheers. I say that. There'll probably be somebody. There's another place I could go that's all out of the way. Oh! World of Warcraft. Deep Run Trams by the subway station. Weird stuff happens there. Three o'clock in the morning. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen. Cynical just got another fishing skill up. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, there was this one time we were on the Feather Moon server. And uh, there was this... Uh, gnome and this night elf doing stuff at like you would expect to see at a bus station at three o'clock in the morning and then the missus and i were like um yeah and we just wanted to uh you know run down the deep run tram so that we could uh check out the uh what you call it aquarium because we thought that was like really cool back then that would be so cool but no one here no one there plays games what are they doing, California? Just, you know, rehearse lines for that one time that they're going to get picked for a movie role? I bet they do. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they... Maybe. Um, how can nobody play games? I mean, even the 70-year-old folks that I work with, they, they at least play dominoes. Which is kind of like a video game, except without... Well, no, it's nothing like a video game. But they have video game versions of dominoes. And all the housekeeping speaks Spanish. That sounds about right. Do a level one alliance run on Bubbly Bernie. But it all has to be Taru Taru. And it all has to be in the Chocobo outfits. Because that just makes it better. No, Crab Caps. Yeah, that makes it better. <laughs> I never... Oh my god! This game is broken. I mean, I thought it was broken last night when I was on Dragoon, and it was. But this is like three skill ups that I've caught, which means there's probably a. No, that guy's gone. There's like three skill ups that I've noticed. There might be a four somewhere that I didn't notice. I think they might play Facebook games. They have games on Facebook? I thought that was just for stalking people. Not that I've stalked anybody on Facebook. I probably have. Actually, no. I mean, I do have a Facebook account. I just use it for easy passwords. Because it's all like, hey, welcome to this site. Do you want to log in with your password? Or do you want to log in with your Facebook account? And I'm like, well, Facebook sounds a lot easier. So I just click that and I don't to worry about forgetting passwords and everything. Okay. You just got a free item for Mass Effect 3. Thanks for clicking. Also, would you like to be interested? Like, no away. Thank you, EA. What was the free thing they gave me? It was the armor, wasn't it? No. Yes? Wasn't it? Kingdom of Amogar or something? I don't remember the name of it. It was like a demo that they let you play for an hour. I just remember this game that was basically an offline version of WoW. And uh, it was being released around the same time ME3 was. And if you played that game, then it would unlock something in ME3 so you could get some uh, armor and stuff. Games like Candy Crush and Farmville and... Um, those things. Didn't they make a game show of Candy Crush? Oh, well, maybe. I shouldn't... I'm not gonna knock Candy Crush Saga. My mom passed me her iPhone one time and said, I can't beat this level. Beat it for me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Here. And she's like, how did you do that? I'm like, I really wasn't paying attention. She's like, can you beat the next level? I'm like, no. She's like, I bet you can't. And I'm like, give me that thing. And I'm like, here. And she's like, how, how can you put it down? Nobody puts down Candy Crush. And I'm like, 
Nobody puts down Final Fantasy XI. They might go to the bathroom, have some kids, come back in a couple years. But they all come back. Candy Crush. I can see people walking away from that for good. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get sued, aren't I? <laughs> oh, well. It's only money, right? Cheers, everybody. Forgot how much whiskey I poured into this. <clears throat> well, anyway, I had a nightmare last night, or this morning. It was this morning. And I was at work, of all places. That place that I had the horrible day at yesterday. And um, I got shot at work. And it wasn't one of those, bang, you wake up. No, it was, bang, you bleed out. You feel your heartbeat slowing down. I woke up, and it was like, and then heart started going at a mile a minute. I'm oh, sorry, I thought I hit the button to pull up the sandfish. Well, I think I did. Probably just didn't register it because this uh, game pad is starting to go out. Kind of like my body, it's starting to uh, get a little old. Don't work as quickly as it used to. And uh, we're just lying there. I looked at the clock and it was like, it's two minutes after 5 a.m. I'm going to lie here for five minutes see if I fall back asleep. And I'm like, no, you're not falling back asleep. And it's one of those, sometimes you wake up from a dream or a nightmare and... You remember being scared, and then it disappears, and you don't remember any of it. And you're like, no, this one I remember very clearly. And I remember everybody ran except one person. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I got up. I made bed. Made some pancakes. I was eating pancakes when the alarm went off two hours later, and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I guess I should go and plug it in. Next thing I know, I was like, you know, you can only play so much Star Trek online at 7.30 in the morning. And just go get dressed, go to work, and get started on the day. And Yeah, the new co-worker. No! No. Not saying who. And she was the one I pushed out of the way. Then I got shot. Ah. Even in my dreams, I'm a loser. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Uh, click, click, pull stuff up, moat cart, done. Kitty, sit down. She's like, you can see the tip of her ears here, and she's like breathing really. Oh, yes, you still smell like cat food, though. Uh huh. And then she's gonna like rub her gums on my hair and try and mess up my hair. Why are you messing up my hair? You know I spent like whole five seconds on this after I got out of the shower. Ow! Oh, that's gross. <laughs> but anyway, I was gonna be my whole night fishing, cat rubbing her gums on me. <laughs> don't you chew on my hair? That's gross. I don't chew on your hair. So anyway, hoping everyone will be happier instead of sad at the party tomorrow. Gonna bring my jello cake to the party. Jello cake? Jello cake? Why'd you mess up my hair? You know I don't like it when you do that. Alright. Don't ever shake your head like that if you've been drinking. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, it's it's just, you know, tilting this way repeatedly. It'll stop. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's better. Better equilibrium. Focus. Yeah. Open your eyes and it's like half naked Mithra. Life's good! Click. 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 Cheers, everybody. What time is it? Alright, we're halfway done. Ish. Really. Also, forget. Let's see. We're probably gonna have to. We're gonna have to make more uh, bait, probably. You make talking to yourself seem so natural. It's really impressive. I've only been doing it for 40 years. <laughs> it takes work and a little bit of liquid confidence sometimes to just really keep the stuff flowing. I mean, I've tried doing this sober before and it's all like, hmm. I wonder if I can remember after all these years the uh, Queen Map speech that Mercutio did in Romeo and Juliet, which I hate the play, but I really like the character. Mercutio needed his own play. Instead, they had to go and kill him off. 
Spoilers! <laughs> Those of y'all that haven't... Shoot. It's a downside to having to change school districts every year. It's like in the... We studied it for the first time in the 8th grade. That was uh, outside of Baltimore. Then we studied it again in the ninth grade. This was in uh, Flower Mound, which is a little subdivision just to the north of Dallas-Fort Worth. And then um, when we moved to Austin in the 10th grade, they're like, hey, we're going to study Romeo and Juliet this year. And I was like, no, 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 no. But yeah, it's a cake with Jello poked into the cake. Oh, okay. But, uh, I like Jello. So anyway, I had pancakes this morning, and I'm like, even though I'm on a diet, I was like, I'm just gonna make pancakes because I got the time and ate three of them this morning. It was really good, and then I put three into a little Tupperware thing, and I have this little itty bitty small tiny Tupperware thing that I have no idea what I'm gonna do with, and then I realized I could pour syrup into this, and then take it to work and. Hair down, dent looks pretty cool. Only because I washed it. If I haven't washed it, and it doesn't, it looks bad. It looks really bad. Especially if it's got like partial product left in it. Because when I go to work, I put like two pounds of hair gel in there to keep every single strand in place. Because you think you're having a bad day. Until you've had a bad day with strands of hair getting into your face. And then you just want to like strangle everybody. Well, not everybody. Just the people that really deserve it. Cheers, everyone. And thank you! It's, uh... It looks best in the morning, because when I'm, like, sleeping like this and I wake up and it's still kind of in the same position it was while I was sleeping, it's kind of got the little Sephiroth things going up where it goes up and then off to the side, and I'm like, this is, like, perfect. Just need to get some hairspray and shh. Stay like that, and you're like, mm, gravity wins. I'm like, damn! Oh, well. One of these days. Actually, no, it's too long to do that now. If I had it shorter, we used all the moose. Mm. No. <laughs> Probably no good for it. So today is day eight of uh, me exercising for one hour continuously every day in a row. It's not big, giant exercising. I don't want to actually mention it earlier because... Usually it's like, hey, I've exercised three days in a row. I'm going to stop for the next six months. But eight days, that's... You know, those included days that I came home and was like, I really, really don't want to do this. Yesterday was one of those days. But I still did it. And, uh, yeah. What kind of exercise? So, it's a dual thing. Uh, those of y'all that have been watching the stream for a long time, back when I had the computer set up over there, and you could see the elliptical off in the back. Um... I also have a Xbox 360 and a Kinect, so when I come home, I turn the Xbox 360 on and it's got the UFC personal trainer, which is just basically shadow boxing. And I have it set to this uh, little regimen that I made myself. It's really easy. I call it 100 fist, where it's just a, uh, it's combo number four, and it's a uh, punch, punch, elbow, elbow, and it's shadow boxing. And that's a uh, one exercise, and you just repeat that 53 times. Uh, per set and then the set repeats 10 times and if I was in shape if I had a lot of muscles it calculates that that would burn about 720 calories in about um, 20 minutes but since I'm an old fat so it lucky if it burns a uh, 50 calories to be honest but it gets the heart going and since it's shadow boxing there's not a whole lot of resistance so I got some you know little five pound dumbbells that I hold on to and that gives a little bit but not too much it's just more to use up um the uh what you call it energy that people normally have for little short birds of a you know fight or flight kind of thing and uh yeah so i do that for about 20 30 minutes depending upon how how well the connect sensor actually registers my uh pretend punches and then i hop on the elliptical for half an hour and typically just skip the uh, adrenaline. Yeah, maybe adrenaline. It's just everybody has a little bit of energy in reserve so that, you know, if you needed to run, you know, 20 paces, then you can actually run 20 paces before. <gasps> I gotta stop and breathe. You know, adrenaline gets to, uh, 
you know, kick that into overdrive until that uh, wears off, but that kind of thing too. Monster Llama! Happy Thursday. Now, anyway, what I'm trying to do is maximize fat burning on the elliptical for the full 30 minutes, and I just... It's a Nordic Track CXT910, which is about as old as... as that. No, about as old as Final Fantasy XI, because so I think I got it around the same time. Sunday I start my new job, can't say what it is, just yet because I don't want any angry people in my face. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Deoden's gonna work with me at Square Enix. I, yep, yep, they're both gonna be GMs. I can see it now. Congratulations, Deoden. Sounds like a wonderful job. Gonna be, all my friends now are just gonna be GMs. They're like, hey, Dent, how's it going? I'm like, it's going good. They're like, yeah. We got all the console hacks. You want something? I'm like, no. Yes. No. Don't do it. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm standing right next to you, right? And I'm like, uh huh. Don't understand how people could be angry now as opposed to Sunday. Unless. Unless he's going to announce his candidacy for the California Senate. And if I was a registered voter in the state of California, I might vote for Deoden. But you know, that's the only reason people would get angry. It's all like, I'm going to ask you to be senator of this state, great state. And they're like, I hate you. Grr. I really want to know what the job is. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to think what would be a... Now, that's kind of tragic. I was going to say, it's like, he's going to take over uh, vocals for... Uh... Mm. Gentleman who died on Tuesday. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. He's on tip of my tongue. Tom Petty! There we go. Tell 30! Happy Thursday to get one, two, three. Denrel. <laughs> Happy Thursday. There's got to be a T in there somewhere, right? Yeah. Maybe the T key doesn't work. Is this Rabao? I think so. Let's check the map real quick. Uh, map. Scroll up. Yep. R-A-B-A-O. I don't know how to say Rabao. What if it's just Rabe? <gasps> no. no. You gotta get that O sound in there somehow. Argo! Oh shoot. Hit the wrong button. We'll wait for this button to do its thing. Happy Thursday! Bum bum bum. Sorry. For those of you offended by Mithra thighs, try to avert your eyes from the screen. Those of you also offended by green, um, toad butt, <laughs> please try to avert your eyes. <laughs> uh, I played FF11 when you could fish rusty caps from a bow and make 50k an hour. <laughs> oh. Wow, that must have been before, uh, yeah, that was definitely before I did it, you know, like, wow, 50k an hour? That's a lot of guilt, yes! That would have been like, oh, that would have been like early, early, early on, and it got nerfed. It was like, there was a time even that they had big, giant, um, fish bot hordes that... They were just massively... Yeah, hundreds of bots. Hundreds of people there. Hundreds of bots. Tribute to inflation. As a level 84, I have 5 million gills. It's easy to get gill. It's, you know, easier to get gill. You know, it's like, I keep looking at Cyndaquil. It's like, how does she have 6 million? We're supposed to be buying stuff. Well, trying to leave on good terms, even though I was not offered a decent way. Oh, let's finish this. This feels like a sandfish. Yeah, it is a sandfish. I remember the last time I traded jobs it was uh, not even changing the uh, shopping center. I just went from the grocery store that had the pharmacy to the independent pharmacy that was in the same parking lot. And um, not happy with me they were. 
tried to list me as a no rehire. I'd worked for that company for 10 years. Gave them 13 days notice. I was only required to give them seven. And she says, well, since you didn't give me two weeks notice, I got to put you down as a no rehire. I'm like, I gave you 13 days. That's not two weeks. I'm like, are you pissed? <laughs> she says, I'm not pissed. I just don't like the way that you're leaving. I'm like, oh, okay. Tough. <laughs> that was basically it. And uh, we didn't talk to each other for like uh, the first two or three years after I changed jobs. She's still there. We have a much better respectful relationship. I always kid her because when I call the pharmacy to say, hey, got a customer here looking for a script. They didn't send it to your pharmacy by chance, did they? Because she's always the one that picks up. And I'm like, don't you have texts? Don't they pick up the phone? She says, yeah, I have texts. No, they don't pick up the phone. I'm like, wow. Well, Sick texts. Dude, that one was ridiculous. <laughs> Do you live in a city that was affected by the hurricane? I live in Dallas, and um, we did not get hit by the hurricane. Um, we did get some of the humidity, but not a whole lot of it. We did get um, some folks from Houston, but most of the people in Houston stayed in Houston to help out other people in Houston. And, I mean, I've lived in Houston when I was a kid, and... There's not a polite way to say it. Kids, cover your ears. As far as shitholes go, Houston isn't the worst, but... <laughs> would I move back? I'd be like, no, <laughs> I would not. But, uh, no. No, I made a conscious choice to move to Dallas almost 20 years ago now, and I have never questioned that I made the wrong decision. This is, this is just one of those places that I feel like I belong. Yeah. Do you think it's safe to take Zyrtec every day? Yeah. I mean, 10 milligrams every day. If you're, like, taking, you know, 100 milligrams of it every day. No. It's probably not safe. But, yeah, 10 milligrams every day, that's normal. That's fine. Um, I have heard some people... And, again, I'm not a licensed professional, but I play one on Twitch. As far as shit was going, Houston isn't the worst. Dental 2017 would great advice. <laughs> Um, every now and then, um, people seem to grow, well, I'm going to just say resistant to it, and then it doesn't really seem to be working as far as antihistamines go, but then I just say swap to, like, Claritin for a month, and then switch back to your Zyrtec and see if that helps any. Personally, I don't like taking them because I'm cheap, and it's just easier to be sniffly for a couple days. Let your body get used to it and, uh, you know, deal with it. Now, if you have, like, sinus pressure and that kind of thing and it's gotten green and yucky, then, yeah, then you take more. But, you know, there's always something in Dallas that's, you know, if it's not ragweed or pollution or... No, it's usually just those two things. Uh, do you know much about taking bee pollen granules? That kind of sounds like something at Whole Foods. No, I don't. Um, my pharmacy is uh, on the same street with uh, four nursing homes. So, uh, Hotel 30 is headed out. All right. Happy Thursday. Have a great evening. Um, so, most of what we do is uh, stool softeners. Hey, that's the truth. That's most of what we do. That and uh, hydrocodone for everybody else. And, yeah. When I first got into the business 20 years ago, the top two medications that were dispensed were Synthroid and Primarin, which are both uh, for hormone replacement, one being uh, estrogens and the other being for thyroid. Now the uh, two most commonly dispensed medications are Hydrocodone and Hydrocodone. And he's like, yeah, do those old guys get Viagra often? Not through me. It's a hello bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been at that store? Uh, this month, actually, I start my ninth year. As I started in 2008, in October, back when Bush was still in office. That's... Yeah. And uh, the uh, grocery store that I was at before, that was uh, from 98 to 2008. I stayed there just long enough for the 10-year pin. And uh, then I was like, see ya! But, uh, you know. 
I shouldn't gripe too much about the grocery store. They let me keep my hair long there too. As long as I kept it tied back and tucked into my shirt. Not that it, you know, everybody could still see it. it was, nobody knew how long it was until well, there was this one, uh, I guess a very, very late night or a very, very early morning that I was uh, driving through the areas. We got another fishing skill up? Shoot, we might get 33 tonight at this rate. You can't fish without bait on the book. Bait on the book. Hate on the book. Bait on the hook. There we go. And we only got enough for 33 more fish. Is a uh, eight businesses that try to tell employees how to dress or how to wear their hair. It's so ridiculous. Well, I mean, there's some professionality in it as well. I understand that society is getting more casual. Myself. Even though I kind of look like a very pale hippie, um, I still believe in wearing suits for important um, occasions. Weddings, wear a suit. Funerals, wear a suit. Audits, wear a suit. <laughs> you know, it tells the other people that this is serious, I take this very seriously, and, you know, and I look good in a suit, but yeah. What can I say? I'm used to being handed a uniform. They want me wearing a lab coat. And I'm okay with wearing a lab coat, especially when I'm overweight, because it kind of hides my uh, belly. But lately, like this past week even, and maybe it's because I've been exercising so much, I'm like having hot flashes. I can't wear that thing without profusely sweating. I'm like, can we please lower the air conditioner? And everybody who's like in their sweaters, um, freezing they're like no it's cold enough in here man and i'm like god i'm taking off the lab coat can't do it and of course then i don't have pockets well I, actually i do i have shirt pockets and i can keep one pin in there but yeah could be pregnant most likely just menopause because you know i don't know I know I'm not pregnant. I may have to get laid to get pregnant. No, it's just one of those prerequisites. Well, no, there was that one time. No. Definitely not pregnant. Uh, oh, no. I mean, that, would be, that would be icing on the cake, too, because, uh... You know, like, at that point now, it's like... There's like three life choices ahead of me right now. It's, uh, those of you all that don't know, I haven't talked about this publicly yet. Lanos knows, and I think Deoden knows, and a couple other folks in the link shell know, but the missus left uh, last December. They're like, I wonder why she hasn't been opening the door and going to get ice and all of this stuff. And like, it's just one of those things. Um, it's not the first time we've uh, separated. Um, but we're still good friends. We just can't live together. Yeah, it's relationships like that. I still took her with me to Tennessee, and you know we still had a grand old time and fun stuff like that. But uh, right here, oh no, you know, we're on the bright side. You walk around in your underwear. <laughs> Leave the toilet seat up. You know all that fun stuff. But uh... <laughs> my bathroom has never been cleaner. How long were you together? We met January 1st, 1999. Oh my goodness. I would have been... I would have been 23. She was 19 when we first met. And, uh... Why couldn't you walk around in your underwear with her? Oh, well, because it caused her to throw up. <laughs> so, like, hey, babe. <laughs> Put some clothes on, dead. Why do you think I'm always wearing a top? So, you know, it's for the viewers. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh, you know, what was I talking about? You know, we met when we were kids, and, you know... I say, you know, when I was 23 when I was kids. But, uh... And we kind of hit it off really well. Well, no, that's not true. That's not true. We went about a month where we just waved at each other. It was at a goth club, actually, downtown Dallas, that uh, we both frequented it back then. And then it was on um, Valentine's Day. We were both there. 
by ourselves. It was a god club. You go there by yourself and people didn't judge you. As long as no one got their heart broken. Well... That's another thing. Um, you know, Valentine's Day. We were like, hey, the club sucks and I don't. And it's like, yeah, it really does. There's like nobody here. Why is that? And it's like, because they're all doing Valentine's Day stuff. That sucks. You want to go to Denny's? Sure. So we popped in the car and we went to Denny's and flirted. And I think I was driving her home after that because she didn't have a car. She just usually caught rides with people. Let's, you know, do that when you're in your late teens, early 20s. And uh, she's getting out of the car. And, you know, I'm used to asking random women that I meet, like, hey, you want to have dinner sometime? And I'm also used to them saying, no. She said yes. I was like, wait, what? What to do when they say yes? Um, okay. What day you want to get together? And like, oh, how's Thursday? I was like, Thursday works, so I'll meet you here? And I'm like, yeah. 7 o'clock? Sure. Like, cool. And I'm like, oh shit. It works. Wow. If you ask enough women out, someone will say yes. If I, know, if I knew then what I know now, I would have run away. So, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Um, actually, I was telling a coworker that you know, she was, she's making some of the same life choices that I made, and I'm trying to warn her against it, saying I should be a cautionary tale. And she's like, I've just grown to accept it. And I'm like, No, well, you know, it's like one of these days, you know, you're gonna ask guys like, Hey, you wanna get some dinner? And he's gonna say, Yeah. But like when that happens, run, run so. Joke. I feel the same way, but I'm allergic to so many things. My body is more red from allergies than a natural color. I don't have the balls to ask women out. I'll forever be single, and that's okay. You're a good person. I have my moments. I'm really a jerk. I'm like... <laughs> I, well, I have my moments. I don't know, I'll just say that. And then I also have those other moments where it's like, wow just WTF man <sighs> my biggest fault is rage issues you can see the uh, bruised finger um, I tend to internalize my feelings typically anger let them simmer and the way I see it it's better to hold it in than to say something that could be I can be mean when I stay stuff and it's like i go below the belt and all this other things but uh um but when it does boil over i tend to look rather oh what's the word i'm looking for um stupid you know as most people that bottle stuff up and when they finally do explode it's not about the one thing that just you know straw that broke the camel's back it's about everything <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, well, better to take it out on a wall that won't have a dent in it. <laughs> dent. He'd be so proud. And uh, anyway, so yeah, so the missus and I, we've been broken up for just a little under 10 months now. She left before Christmas, so I didn't have to get her a gift. Silver linings. Um, and uh, yeah, so three life paths ahead of me. I could rob the cradle, pick somebody that's way too young, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I could also pick somebody that has kids and raise somebody else's kids. And I'm not saying that all the single moms out there are problematic. I'm just saying that all, no, I'm not going to say all the single moms out there. There's a good portion of single moms out there that made at least one really bad life choice that ended up with them being a single mom, but uh, <laughs> so, uh, that, that, that's, that's less appealing to me than robbing the cradle. And uh, I don't want to raise someone's kids, right? I don't want to raise somebody else's kids. I'm okay with my, well, I'm okay with the idea of my kids. And then the third choice... I don't think it's the one that I probably settled on. Forever alone. Well, no. <laughs> no, I got you guys. I won't be forever. Well, maybe. Probably not. 
I really didn't expect on developing a crush on somebody though. That that yeah. Oh well. It'll pass. Kinda like a bad case of gas, right? Forever alone. You can't get Japanese sex robot. Wait, something about a mail order bride? No. Lone wolf? No. 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 Well, maybe. No. Well, let's be honest, though. So I got a crush on somebody. We're not going to go into details with who and all the other fun stuff because this is being uploaded to the public. And it's going on YouTube where it could come back 20 years from now and be like, Hey! Why were you talking about me? I didn't give you permission for that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's true. So, not naming names, not even doing descriptions or any other stuff. Um, I'll just say I probably made her feel really awkward. Um, I don't know. Let's even go back a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The past year sucked. It, I mean, it really has. The, the most finances involved, the kind of what led to the breakup. And, you know, the uh, whole shenanigans that happened at work was just icing on the cake. And it was like, it could be bad and divorce if you talk about this stuff, too. Well, we were never legally married. I mean, Houston, Houston Texas uh, common law, if you remain in the same uh, domicile with a person, then le te technically you two are married. And if she wanted to take me to court over it, then... I guess she could, you know, we could split up our debt together, but it got to the point that, um, that's my kind of marriage. I mean, marriage is more a financial agreement nowadays than it is a testament of love because most of these financial agreements tend to end in divorce and all divorce is, is a destruction of wealth. Oh, a redistribution of wealth to the lawyers that are helping you get divorced and anyways um that's why i'm not saying anything about the new job i have coming up right right that's stuff but um you know we got to the point that uh interest on debt that i owe was um my second highest monthly expenditure next to uh rent it's like and i was at the point that Dear, we need to do something about our finances, or, you know, they're going to turn the power off and stuff. Too much public causes trouble in the long run. Yeah. And she agreed that she needed to help more with the finances, but she just wasn't putting one foot in front of the other quickly enough. And I decided to make it an issue one day, and, you know, the whole bottling stuff up boiled over per se so that afterwards when i came home it's like oh by the way i'm moving out I'm like okay it's not like i'm gonna be able to afford to live here anymore anyways and right now it's basically um you can't see it from here but i have so much ramen noodles it's not even funny but they were on sale and i never thought 20 years later i'd still be eating that shit language sorry it's cheap. It's very cheap. Oh, there's also spaghetti. Spaghetti's cheap. Macaroni and cheese is cheap. Um, if you make your own bread, it actually goes longer than buying it. And, you know, little things like that. So I'm right now... It's hard to exercise on ramen noodles. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That could explain the hot flashes. <laughs> well, my caloric intake um, has been averaging just under 500 calories per day, intake-wise. There's probably a little bit more because I poured whiskey into this. And since I had pancakes today, I probably went over a thousand. But uh, I've, these past eight days, I've been melting about a pound a day. Which isn't healthy. But it's also the first 10 pounds. They're the easiest to lose. It's uh, 500 is too low. <laughs> well, it's going to be the uh, next 10 pounds that are going to be the harder. I just have to stick with it. But, uh, you know, a little bit of termination, a little bit of drive. <sighs> you know, like last month, I was just lying in bed trying to sleep because I had to go back to work in like three more hours. Thinking, I was like, why are you doing this? What? What's What's the end game? Other than, you know, so you pay off your debt. Yay. 
buy a house, you know. More debt? And I'm like, why are you doing this? And I didn't have an answer. I was like, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just, what, I guess, what we're supposed to do. You know, Tyler Durden. And I was like, hey, Dad. I, uh, graduated college. What should I do? Get a job. I'm like, oh, okay. So go out and get a job. Hey, Dad. Got a job. What should I do? Get a wife. Get married. I'm like, well, that's the well, why. But, you know. Mm -hmm. That explains your hot flushes. I hope you stay safe, man. Me too. I was, uh, today, sidetracking. I'll, I'll get back onto the main topic here in just a moment. Um, the elliptical. I, I do a different routine on there. Do you feel less stressed? No. No, I don't. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> No, no, every single day. Wait, there was a main topic.